time. After being a quantity surveyor for far too many years and finding that the software and spreadsheets out there for completing basic measures, etc., are very limited or basically non existent, I've come up with a number of my own spreadsheets. And so I thought I would put a few examples on here and get people's feedback and comments as to whether anyone else would be interested in using these in the future if I was to develop them further. Uh, I'll start with a basic thin paper spreadsheet. So here we have the um, summary sheet. At the moment, all we've got on here are the client details and site details, etc. We've got no other um, summaries because we haven't entered anything in the takeoff. Moving on to the takeoff uh, actual page, um, we've got some details on here, and it, hopefully, it kind of looks like dim paper. But uh, this is digital and uh, you shouldn't have to do any calculations. Got a few tabs up here, or a few buttons I should say. Uh, this one here explains, or hopefully shows, the numbers and uh, letters you need to use. That This will become clearer in a minute. And we've got a few extra buttons here for um, altering the layout of the, um, the sheet and I will show you those a bit later as well. First of all, I'll show you a basic takeoff. So as per the uh, box up here, we need to start a new uh, section with a heading. So we put an H in this box uh, here, and we can put a title. So we'll call this area, area one. Then I'll add a subheading because this is going to be divided into sections and I will call this one curves. And we'll start with a curve type one. So this, this will basically show you linear measurement. So all I need to do in here is enter my lengths, random lengths here at the moment, but um, there we go. And in this column here, we just enter the multiplication. Now, in order to get this to work, we need to put a one, whereas on normal dim paper, you might not do this. So calculations are worked out automatically for you and then we can put a rating. Now, obviously this could be linked up to a rates page or something like that, but we will come onto that at another time. Uh, we have a curb type two now, and we just enter a couple of those. And just say we've got two at 25 meters long. And linear meters again, and we say this is 16 pounds, different type of curve. Now, in order to summarize this, come to this box here, and up here it says get a subheading total by putting in a number five. So that's what we do five. So that is calculated for that section. Now we have a new subheading. And let's do some areas. So let's just call this roads. And we have a road type one. Oh, I can't spell. Road type one. And this is going to be done in areas. So we can just put in some twos as per the table at the top. And there we go. Um, we have area of 25 meters by five meters. 12 meters for 4.8. We'll leave it at that for the moment. Um, two of those, 1.5 of those. Meters squared and 85 pounds. And 
we have some foot paths. And we can have one of those at 14 meters long by 2 meters wide and one at 25 by 1.8. It really doesn't matter what sequence you enter these uh, figures in. Um, and we have that at £38.50. So once again we want to total this section up and then as the table if we want to get a total for this heading we just put a T in and that has summarised this whole section. We we'll quickly do another table um, sorry another heading so we're an H, we call this area 2, and we will just have some volumes. So let's say trenches, oops, and um, that can be a subheading, and just some um, trench excavation. This is just to be a very quick one. So this is volume, so we have this with threes. And we'll just enter some figures in here. just to show you how it works. Volumes are there, meters cubed, and we say that's 10 pounds. We can put a five to complete this section, and then a T. And you can see by the, the colors, the sections are completed. So that's it for the measures. We go back to the summary page, and wait for it to spin, and here we have a summary of all our measures in the headings and the subheadings. Going back to this page, now if you wanted to send this to your client, you don't really want these ones in here, you want a better layout, so you can click on a button to have a client layout, which hides that column. Let me show it. You also have a button here for notes, so if you wanted to add some notes to each of your measures, you can add some notes in this side column. Um, you've also got the opportunity, say you've been doing your measures and you've missed some measures. Say here we missed some curve measures. We can actually add some new um, rows by clicking on this button. Say we want to add four new rows. Do that. The room is made. And we can just add the ones in here. And if I just add five at 10 meters, you will see that the formulas all still work. Now, if we go back to the summary page, once again, wait for it to spin, it automatically updates, and we have all of the new figures. We also have this button over here to export to a PDF file. That way you can send it, uh, a version of this onto your client without worrying about having to send them the actual spreadsheet. I think that's it for now. Hopefully that's all pretty clear and I look forward to getting some feedback or some comments um, from anyone who's interested in this. Thanks very much.